Hello and welcome to PEP Cloud. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create an estimate using PEP Cloud. I'm in my client screen, so I choose my client. Then I go over to my estimating screen and I click on my job name. I'm going to name this Interior Repaint. Then I'm going to give it a number, a job number. And the description, job description is going to be the bedroom. All of my other information has automatically populated from my client's information, so I don't need to fill anything in there. Now I'm going to actually go in and create an area, which is the bedroom that I will be painting. So my area name is the bedroom. And because I, this program will create a list of all the areas that you've painted, if I had painted a bedroom before, I could have opened up this list and clicked on bedroom. Now I'm going to go to the template because I have created a basic repaint template that will speed this along for me. So I'm going to put in the length and the width, the ceiling height, number of windows, number of doors, and by doing this and clicking done, the program will automatically calculate the square foot for the walls, the square foot for the ceilings, the linear foot for the board baseboards, number of windows, and the doors. It also will give me the amount of hours it should take me to complete these tasks and the amount of money I am charging for this. This is how easy it is to estimate using the cloud. Please visit our website www.paintestimating.com for PEP Cloud and make your estimating as easy as one, two, three. Thank you. Hello and welcome to PEP Estimating in the Cloud. PEP Cloud is our newest PEP out. I'd like to give you a quick walkthrough on what the program is all about. Right now I am in the estimate or the client screen, but I want to create an estimate for this client. I go to my estimating screen. In the estimating screen, I have an interior paint job which has a number, a description, and the company address and everything will automatically be populated from the general screen. As I go into the areas of the estimate, I have walls, ceilings, baseboard, windows, and doors. If I click on any one of these areas, then I get an actual description of what I have here. So my square footage is located here. My formula that I'm using to figure out what I want to charge for this. As you see, I have hours in the amount of money being charged for each item. This is very easy to edit or delete and to create a new item. All I do is click on the new item button and fill in the information. I also have different areas. So as I have different areas, each area could be done the same way. And if you again click on any line item in this area, it will explain the details to you. When I'm all done creating my estimate with the different areas, I go back into my form here and I look at a proposal. As I open up a proposal and preview it, I'll be able to see that I have added pictures to my estimate. So as you see, I have a bedroom here. This bedroom has walls, ceilings, baseboard, windows, and doors. Each item has a cost the number of steps or coats that I am performing and either a, a unit price or a square foot amount. And as we go through the proposal you'll see I have different areas. A kids bedroom and again it's itemized out into walls, ceilings, baseboard, windows and doors and I have a living room and that living room is also itemized out into different areas that I'm going to paint. Lastly I have a kitchen. Again, everything is itemized out separately. 
If you wanted to, you could choose to not show the cost. That is a decision we leave up to you. When I'm done reviewing the proposal, I could actually review the work order. As I preview the work order, you will see that it's very much the same as the proposal with your company name and work order information. And as I go down, I no longer see money, but I see hours. As our crews are out there, they need to know the surface, any colors, the units or quantity, the number of steps, any hours, and the area subtotal, so the number of hours for each area to be performed. And this is done with every area in my estimate. So this is the work order. Making sure that your crew knows exactly what you're doing for each area, the items, the steps, the hours. So as we look at all these different areas, we see that we have a subtotal for each area. And at the end, we also see that we have a material list. So the crew knows how many gallons, what color, what product to go buy at the store, and the number of, of uh, hours at the end of the job with the grand total, the area hours for each area, the grand total of hours for the whole job. It's this easy to create work orders, proposals, the same with contracts. As I go into creating a contract, I just click on New Contract. I fill in the terms of the contract that I want to use. I fill in the type of contract. This is a residential. And when that's done, I am able to view my contract. As it populates here and I open up the contract form, you'll see that the contract lays out labor, tax, material, and grand total. It also has specifications, preparation notes, telling you surfaces, and uh, explaining anything you want to explain to your client, whether it's warranties, work standards, customer responsibility, change orders, whatever it is. You also have the ability here to sign and with a cancellation notice here. If they accept the proposal, they sign it and date it and send it back to you. That is a quick look at Pep in the Cloud. Please visit our website at www.paintestimating.com for more information. Thank you very much.